Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will perform nodal analysis for a well with commingled reservoirs using pipe sim software. All right, we are now inside the pipe sim. You can follow me, general well name well. It's an active well, well type production and check valve settings, block reverse. You can also type in your comments in this section. And then we go to tubulars, mode, simple, dimension option, wall thickness. Okay, we can add here, casing, and then tubing. All right, for bottom casing, 8486.7 feet with internal diameter of 6.184 and wall thickness of 0 0.408 with default roughness. And for our tubing, the bottom is at 7,875 feet with ID of 2.441 and wall thickness of 0 0.217 with default roughness. All right, you can see our well sketch is updated in this section. And now we go to deviation survey. Survey type, we will construct 2D well, dependent parameter angle, calculation method tangential. All right, and depth reference original RKB, well head depth of zero and bottom depth will be automatically inputted. This value. All right, and for our table, measured depth and true vertical depth. I've prepared my data so you can follow my data. I copy my data and then paste it here. All right. This is our table. Measured depth, true vertical depth, horizontal distance, and calculated angle. And this is the plot. True vertical depth against horizontal displacement. So it's a 2D well. You can also obtain the value in this table by clicking this icon. All right. And then from here, we go to downhole equipment. We will add packer and locate the packer at depth of 7,800 feet. Right, you can see here the packer and we can call it packer. Okay, later on, we will add nodal analysis point at downhole, but we can leave it as, as per now, like this one. And for artificial leaf, we will not install any artificial leaf in this video. And we then go to heat transfer. U value input, single, heat transfer coefficient two, and ambient temperature input, single, with soil temperature at well head of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so far so good. And then we go to completions. We will have three zones, three production zones in our example here. So we add three zones. We call it zone one, zone two, and zone three. So we have a well with commingled production zones, geometry, vertical, vertical, and vertical, fluid entry, single point for all of them. And then for middle MD or middle of the perforation, you can follow me, 8123.5 feet for zone one and for the second zone, all right. Yeah, you can see the symbol here for our perforation. So we are inputting the depth of middle perforation. And for the third zone, okay. We have three zones in this example, the type perforation, and all of them are active. For IPR model, for simplicity, we will select well PI. So we will directly input our productivity index number for all of these zones. Okay, 
first we go to the first zone, zone one. The reservoir pressure is PSIA and then for the reservoir temperature 247.13. IPR basis, of course, liquid. Productivity index 5.47. And below bubble point pressure, we will use Vogel correlation. And then we go to the fluid model. Each of this zone has their own PVT, has their own fluid. So we will have three fluid models in this example. So click new, okay, all right. You can call it fluid one with water cut off quite high, 92.56, GOR of 57. And for GOR, we will change to GLR, gas liquid ratio. 59.27 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel with gas specific gravity of 0.8, water specific gravity of 1.15, and API gravity of 35 with no contaminant in this section. All right, we can close. Fluid one for zone one, and we go back to reservoir. And you can see our IPR has been generated for the first zone. And then we go to the second zone, zone two. Okay, for the reservoir pressure, 3,263.01 reservoir temperature. All right, liquid and productivity index of is quite low, 0.78. Okay, and then we go to fluid model again. We add new. We go to the second fluid. We call it fluid two. Okay, but the water cut will be very low. 0% water cut. All right, and then for the GLR. Yeah, the GLR is quite high compared to the first zone with gas specific gravity of 0.8, water specific gravity of 1.15, and API gravity of 35 again. Close. All right. Yeah. This is our IPR has been generated with maximum flow rate of around 1,400 stock tank barrel per day. We can recheck for the first zone. Right, you can see our maximum flow rate or absolute open flow is significantly higher compared to that of second zone. Why? Because we have productivity index that is significantly higher, which is 5.47 compared to the second zone, which is only 0 0.78. All right. From here, we go to zone three. Okay, with reservoir temperature of 246.28, reservoir pressure of 3227.81, liquid and productivity index of, this is the highest productivity index of 14.5 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. Okay, and lastly, we go to add a new fluid model. We call it fluid three with water cut of only 14% and GLR of 600 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel and gas specific gravity the same 0 0.8 water specific gravity 1.15 and API gravity of 35 degrees API with no contaminant close and we check the IPR of course the IPR will be the largest compared to zone one and zone two right okay we can actually add surface equipment but for our case here we will concentrate ourselves only on the well and the reservoir so from here 
you can see the validation. We are validated. So we can lastly go to nodal analysis section. We click nodal analysis. All right. You can see first in this section, well sketch section, there is no nodal analysis point. And now we will create nodal point, select location at bottom hole, click OK. All right. Now you can see this is our nodal analysis point and a point. OK. And for nodal analysis window, general branch start at reservoir, of course, our inflow source, nodal point will be at our bottom hole, the nodal point. The end, the branch end, will be at wellhead. This is our outlet. So the outlet pressure will be our wellhead pressure. Let's say it is 200 PSIA. And for inlet conditions or inflow condition, this one, this table. So inflow from zone one, zone two, zone three, with their respective reservoir pressure and reservoir temperature. And also fluid model, fluid one for zone one, fluid two for zone two, and fluid three for zone three. Okay, we are ready. So we can easily perform nodal analysis by clicking run button. All right, this is our nodal analysis. So it is quite simple, right? The blue line is of course our inflow from three zones, all right? Inflow from three reservoirs or three zones. And this is our outflow line, vertical lift performance. And the intersection between IPR or inflow with our outflow or VLP is our operating point. So by this configuration, by this operating condition, we can achieve 5,154 stock tank barrel per day as our flow rate. And our bottom hole flowing pressure is 2,977 PSIA. All right, this is our nodal analysis, IPR and VLP. You can also check IPR curves by layer by clicking this one, right? You can see the blue line is total inflow from three zones. And the purple line is inflow from zone three. All right, with the biggest or largest productivity index and absolute open flow potential. And then this is for our zone one with productivity index of around five stock tank barrel per day per PSI. And this is the IPR from zone two with the lowest productivity index. You can also show the bubble point by clicking this one. All right, so this is our bubble point line. And you can also check the few operating envelope. All right, maximum drawdown line is generated with assumption of this default value, 80% of AOFP. So you can see the drawdown limit the purple line here, 80% of AOF. You can adjust, let's say, to 100%. Right? You can see this zone will be changed. Go back to 80%. OK. You can also view in table by clicking this one. You can copy and then paste on your Excel spreadsheet. All right, and you can also check the profile results here, right? It is a pressure profile starting from our reservoir. Here is our bottom hole. Go up through tubing, of course. And this is, of course, our wellhead pressure of 200 PSIA. All right, it's quite simple it's quite easy and interesting but also very important so we can recap we can close in this example we have performed nodal analysis in a well with commingled reservoirs we have constructed three iprs from three zones with the respective fluid model we have performed nodal analysis and we can achieve production 
All right, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Pipe Sim videos. Thank you.